Hey everyone, today I decided to finally do my video review of the GoVision SOL 1080p HD camera glasses. Now these things were not cheap, they were 180 bucks plus tax. And uh, let's take a look at them. This is the box they came in. Uh, I've bought several video Bluetooth sunglasses before such as the forest fish over here which were a great pair of glasses until I bent the uh, the corner too much and now the video doesn't record but it still works for Bluetooth and sound so you know that's always cool but I was looking for something to shoot point of view videos for my YouTube channel where I didn't have to hold something right now I'm using my cell phone so we open up the box there you have it Got the nice pair of glasses in here. And there, that's what they look like. You can see the camera is pretty, pretty big in comparison to the forest fish, which is just like a little pinhole. But, you know, tomato, tomato, right? Um, this is, uh, as you can see that bottom button on the bottom there is to control the Bluetooth. It's got Bluetooth speakers built in to the frames, whereas the Forest Fish had plug-in um, micro USB headphone earbuds that you can plug in to put in your ears. Um, I do like the micro USB headphone earbuds better. Um, but these they don't they're not too bad for the sound quality. Uh, you got two buttons on the top. Uh, one button is to turn on the video recording, the other one is to take pictures. Uh, I don't believe you can snap a picture while recording video. Something I tried, it didn't work. Maybe you can. Uh, however, you can use both the Bluetooth audio and the video recording simultaneously on these glasses where you can't do that with the forest fish over there. So, um, that is kind of a cool feature. However, when you play back the video, whatever you hear through the Bluetooth speakers is clearly picked up in the video. All right, so put the glasses down. Um, another thing I like about these glasses other than the packaging, is they come with a really nice case. Uh, that's the case they come with. And here's what you get with them in the case. So, oops. There, there, well, it fell out. Uh, you get a nice little business card from uh, GoVision. An 8-pin USB cable. I'm not a fan of these cables. They're too proprietary. Uh, the other sunglasses came with a micro USB cable. You get your, your 8 gigabyte micro SD card, which originally came in here, but it slipped out. And you get a nice little cleaning cloth. Now, when I bought those forest fish over there, it came with a similar case, and it also came with like one of these sunglass carriers, um, which was pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, it's not too bad, the stuff you get, you know, you get some decent accessories. They give you an 8 gig SD card with it. I'm not going to use this card because I have a 32 gig micro SD sitting in this here adapter. So, I'm going to shoot a demo video and show you my issue with these glasses. Uh, my issue with the glasses is the video quality, and so I'm probably going to end up returning them. So, here comes the video. And welcome back. So, I'm shooting from, you know, I switched from my cell phone to the glasses. Um, I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration. So, overall the video is, you know, it's, it's pretty decent quality, right? I mean, it's not bad. If you've seen the last video, you remember the yellow truck. 
Uh, now, I don't know if you'll notice it, depending on, I, I think it's mostly based on lighting conditions, but depending on how fast you move or look around, you'll get like a lot of motion blur, which is more than, than I'm used to from the other pair of glasses. Um, the main reason I got these was so I can shoot videos on the inside of my car. But, you know, just getting in here. As you can see, I've got the car disassembled. I took the dashboard out. Uh, I'm going to upload a video on my other channel for the Evil Z06. But, you know, just moving around, taking the dashboard out, um, just doing simple stuff like, you know, I, I tried shooting a quick video of me pulling the dashboard out. And I like to do it point of view so I can use both my hands to work. And, you know, you pull the dashboard out, pull the instrument panel out. I have to take all this apart to replace a circuit board sitting on the other side here. But I noticed the three or four times I shot the video, there was just, you know, just just me showing the cluster right Let's put it back. you know just just pointing around and stuff looking around grabbing a tool opening things up there was a lot more motion blur than I was expecting and um, so that I'm probably going to return these glasses for that reason but here's what the quality looks like for having them And they definitely do not shoot very good in the dark. Uh, so, you know, if you're, if you're going hiking or something, doing some kind of daily activity and you're out in the sun, these actually might be a really good pair of glasses for you. <sighs> but, that being said, you know, here's, here's the demonstration for the review. Um, I will include a, a link to these glasses on Amazon if anyone likes them enough to you know they want to pick up a pair they could be a really good pair of glasses they're just probably not good for me and what I intend to use them for so it is what it is um, you know everything is pretty far right now so I can actually turn my head and there's probably very little blur but you know the closer I look at things you know just pointing at stuff uh, there's probably a little bit of more motion blur than than you should expect but other than that thanks for watching uh, if you like the glasses go pick up a pair if not leave me your comments on what you think of them thanks